everyone. So today I've got a few autumnal bits to show you that I've been buying recently because it is now September and I'm kind of getting into the whole autumn clothing sort of thing. So yeah, I'm going to get on now and show you what I've got. I have got a few little makeup bits too. So yeah, I'm going to crack on. So one of the first places I went was New Look because I got a 25% off voucher from my friend who works at New Look. I popped in and I picked up this little cowl neck top. I haven't got much that's actually this kind of colour in my wardrobe so yeah I just thought it's quite a nice colour for autumn. And then in keeping with the theme I also got a jumper, kind of similar sort of version with the cowl neck but yeah it's like just a long baggy jumper. And I just thought that one, again, would be nice for getting wrapped up and cosy and I can wear it for work too, so. The next place that I went was Topshop and I only bought one thing, I just bought this little skirt. It's just like a ribbed stretchy material, but it's got like splits up the sides, so it's not too constricting when you walk in. It was only 22 quid, so not too bad. And yeah, the grey will go with loads of wardrobe. The next place that I went to was H&M because I love H&M and I think they do good trend led pieces that are cheap so that always wins in my book. I popped in and got these trousers which are probably going to look hideous on camera. They're kind of like a suede effect material and then they're just, I don't know if that's a flare, I think it's more like a boot cut leg. I just thought they'd be quite nice for wearing like a turtleneck or something like that. And I know there's a lot of this kind of fake suede sort of thing going on. And then my mum just picked me up this one. It was $6.99 and it's just a little basic kind of, it's not like a high neck, but it's got a bit of a bit of a neck to it. Don't really know what I'm saying here. Um, and then not short sleeves, but not long either. I don't know. I don't know what to say about it. It's just a nice top. The last sort of clothing item that I got was a set from Forever 21. It's sort of an olive coloured, just like a rib material, um, and then it's got flared trousers to match. It's like one of those outfits that's done and you ain't got to think about things that look nice together and it's just ready and it looks quite cute. The last bits that I'll mention are from MAC. You may or may not have seen a couple of these on my blog. So the first thing that I picked up was the face and body foundation. I went in to get one that is a lot darker so that when I fake tan I can kind of match up my face with my body because my face just does not tan and it's like Casper here and then mahogany the rest of me. I really like the face and body foundation like after a little bit of layering because I do need a good bit of foundation then it kind of does cover things up but it's not as heavy um so yeah I just like it for feeling fresh like you've not got a full face of makeup. Another thing that I picked up while I was buying the foundation was the 252 brush. I wanted one for you know like going around your brows and kind of making sure this is all neat and not like a big splodgy mess but the girl used this one to put on my foundation and I just thought it might like double up for a little bit of other areas and I've not used it yet because I wanted to film this video without it looking like rank. <laughs> and then I did a bit of a lip sort of haul. The first thing that I went for was Hover lip liner which was in that video where I couldn't get it the right way so I'm not going to do that again. This is the one that I'm wearing at the minute. It's kind of like quite a dark sort of reddy pink purple. I don't really know what to describe it. It's basically what you can see on my lips. But I do really like this one and it's quite a nice consistency for slapping it off. The other two things that I bought were lipsticks from the new MAC collection. Um, and I went for Stone and Whirl. Um, Whirl is basically the lipstick format of that one that everyone thought Kylie Jenner used to make her lips massive. But yeah, it's still a nice lip liner anyway, and the lipstick is really nice too. This one is quite like a dusky dark pink, and so it's quite a good everyday one. And then I went for Sturm, which I would imagine most people will think, eh, what is that? But this one is like a grey kind of top, it's difficult to explain. It kind of looks quite 90s, that sort of vibe, um, 
but I do really like it. I probably won't wear it like full on every day just because my kind of boring lifestyle cannot carry off this lipstick. But maybe on the odd day I will brave it. I just think it's a nice one to try out and like wear on different pictures. It's just a bit different. And that is pretty much it. There's just kind of winter sort of stuff. I'm trying not to buy anything summery now. Um, just because what is the point? It's going to be cold. I'm going to film an autumn winter lookbook soon and there'll probably be a few of these bits in there so keep an eye out for that. I don't know when it'll be because I'm not that kind of person that can commit to saying <laughs> I'm going to have this done by then. Um, but it will be up at some point soon and I'm going to get off now because if not I'll just end up talking rubbish. So yeah, I'll see you all soon. Bye!